Hi guys, today I'll show you how to make chicken meatballs and pasta in a creamy garlic sauce. For the sauce I'm using whole milk, fresh minced garlic, butter and all-purpose flour to thicken the sauce, fresh thyme and flat leaf parsley. I've got plenty of thyme and parsley in my garden. They're really easy to grow. If you can't get fresh, just use dried thyme. You don't have to get dried parsley. As for the pasta, I'm using penne. Spaghetti or fettuccine would be also good with this dish. For the meatballs, I'm going to grate half an onion on the large holes of my box grater. The onion will keep the meatballs juicy. For the meatballs, I've got ground chicken. This is not lean, it has at least 7% fat. If you're using lean ground chicken, add about a tablespoon of olive oil. To the ground chicken, I'll add the grated onion, salt, ground black pepper, garlic powder, crack an egg, and mix it up. You see the mixture is a little wet, so we'll add breadcrumbs. I'm going to use plain breadcrumbs. You can also use seasoned breadcrumbs. If you're using plain, add a little bit of dried oregano. Give it a mix and we'll add more breadcrumbs if we need to. Just a little more. and the meatball mixture is ready. The meatballs can be fried or baked in the oven. Today I'm going to pan fry them. Before I cook the meatballs, I'm going to put water on to boil for the pasta. The water is at a full boil, now we can add salt and the pasta. Give it a stir and cook until tender. Wet your hands with some cold water. Take about a tablespoon of the mixture and roll it into a bowl. If you have a tablespoon size ice cream scoop, you'll get perfect meatballs. You'll get about 16 meatballs. Don't forget to stir the pasta once or twice during cooking. Heat up a pan and add enough oil to shallow fry the meatballs. When the oil's hot, gently put the meatballs in. Don't crowd the pan. You should be able to cook them in two batches. Turn them over and cook them till golden brown. The pasta has been cooking for 11 minutes. We'll check it to make sure it's cooked. It's perfectly cooked. 11 minutes is just right for penne. I'll go ahead and drain the pasta. Try to brown them all over as best as you can. The first batch is done. Just set them aside. They'll cook in about 10 minutes. I'll put the second batch in. Meatballs are all fried. Now we'll make the sauce. Remove the oil from the pan and wipe it out. Add butter to the pan and the garlic. Let this cook on low heat. You want the garlic to cook and get soft, but not golden brown. The garlic is done, now we'll add the flour. Cook it for a minute or two until the raw taste of the flour disappears. That's ready. Add the fresh thyme and the milk. Mm. 
salt, black pepper, If you have nutmeg, you can grate a little bit over top. It's come to a boil. Turn the heat down. Taste and add more salt or pepper if you'd like. I'll add the pasta. Meatballs. Give it a mix. To make the dish richer, you can add grated parmesan. Cook for a minute or two until the sauce gets creamy and coats the pasta and chicken. You can see it's getting thicker. Now this is enough sauce for me. Some people like a lot of sauce and if you do, just increase the amount of milk. You can also add a little bit of heavy cream or more milk at the end and just reduce it a little bit. Add chopped parsley at the end. The pasta and meatballs are coated in the sauce, but not drowning in it. These meatballs are so simple, but really tasty and perfect with the creamy sauce. I do hope that you try this recipe and let me know how you like it in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.